What else is there to say but... There are people who think that this is just a vanity company for Bill Fuller. What would you say to that? I'd say we have four films in production and only one of them star Bill Fuller. Yeah, uh, so. I think it's actually two. The Robert Kennedy movie and... Okay, maybe it's two, but the rest of the pictures are projects my team and I have developed that have nothing to do with vanity, so you... Glenn, I got Scorsese on line two. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were with someone. I got Marty, line two, wants to talk to you about shot composition. So oh, okay. Get it. <laughs> you were buying that for just like a little bit, right? What? Yeah. I was supposed to make him look good in front of journalists, I guess. I uh, blew that one. Really. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. All right. I'm an asshole. Okay. See thanks. You. Bye. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was trippy. I've been a fan of his since I was a kid. Have you? Did you really tell him to do that? To uh, come in here and say something to make you look good? I just... Bill likes to fuck with me. Sometimes, and uh... okay, yeah, interesting. What uh, what what are you writing? No, just notes. Tucker, where the fuck is Tucker? Have you seen Tucker? No. That is awesome. There you are, Glenn. Have you seen these things? He actually drew them. No, I showed him to you last week. You said it was too much like the Family Guy. It's nothing like the family guy. Show him the dog. The dog, he talks and he's like part of the family. Yeah, just like the family guy. No, but this one's completely different because he has a different personality than Brian. Who's Brian? The dog of the family guy. I gotta get this set. Uh, well, I think we should keep working on these because I think they're awesome. It's great work. Right on, Bill. Right on. I like that kid. Yeah? Yeah. I think he's smart. And I'm sorry about the... Uh... Scorsese oh, thing. Or, no, really. I know I was supposed to say something believable, and I kind of over... It's okay. No worries. Keep practicing. You get it. Rebecca, the only, the only reason I agreed to do any press is to stop all this bullshit about us being a vanity company. Well, you know, that's the first thing he brings up. He's fanning the flames. Yeah, I need you to do it for me, will you? All right, thanks. Fuck me. Listen, you need to, uh, you need to cool it with your TV aspirations, okay? We don't even have a deal for television. Bill said he had a relationship with Fox. Eh, Bill says a lot of things. He also says you're bothering him. Really? Don't go anywhere. My wife called, Michelle Morgan called too. She said it's urgent. Also, Mike Cabot's in the back waiting for you. He's here now? Fuck. Hey, hey, buddy. Christ almighty, Glenn, have you seen this? Seen what? Yeah, just stop. What? What could you possibly have to say to me? Cherry, my love, I think my stars above. No one here is tastier. Man, they, they recut my movie. They, they, they put a band into the middle of it. What are they doing to me? You know, it's not the final cut. Mark. It is. I got banned from the editing room, man. I just talked to Michelle Morgan. Did you know about this? No. Now, who the fuck are they? I think David Stein is banging the bass player. What? It's just a rumor I heard. <laughs> it's completely out of context. It, it makes me look like a hack. I'm gonna have to take my name off the picture. We have to call Bill. No, no reason to get Bill involved. I'll, I'll call Michelle. I'll take, I'll take care of it. So 
Sabrina, call Michelle Morgan. Tell her I'm coming over right now. She just called. Uh, she wants to meet you for lunch. I'll text you the address. Right. Oh, and also your wife called again, too. Where the hell is that kid? Hey, listen, go home. I'll take care of it, all right? Okay. Hey, Glenn. Look, I, I, I know it might sound crazy, but this movie, it's my life. Hey, Mikey, it's mine, too. Okay, buddy? Good taste will prevail. Okay. Hey, do you, uh, you need somebody for the editing room? I got this very sharp kid. He's young, he's eager. He wants to learn about the editing process. I thought maybe you guys could, uh... Glenn, Glenn, I have no fucking idea. Did, did, did you hear what I said? They, they won't even let me into my own editing room, man. I, I mean, there's a sign on the door. I never mentioned it. Sorry. Just get some rest. It'll be okay. Glenn. Steve. Hey. Hey, hey, what brings you here? Hey, man, I'm here for some crappy audition. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I want to put my hat in the ring for the part of Richard Goodman in that Bobby Kennedy movie. Well, that's, uh, that's for a guy in his 30s, Steve. I mean, yeah, well, Bill's older than Bobby Kennedy was. Yeah, just by a couple of years, and, you know, he's the star of the movie, so... So suspension of disbelief. Look, man, I ran it by Bill the other night at Maestro's. He loved the idea. He told me to talk to you. He did? Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I'll put you, on the, put you on the list. We'll get you in there, and you'll, <sighs> you'll knock it out. That's all I ask. You bet. I just met Edward Norton. What a what a nice guy, man. <laughs> that is that is awesome. Hey, who was that guy you were just talking to? He looked familiar. He's one of Bill's loser friends. He takes these strays in. Listen, I don't want to be looking for you all the time, okay? And don't bother the actors. They're busy. Sorry, Edward Norton was just standing there. You know, we both went to Yale. I'm pretty sure he didn't mind. Well, I mind. Drive the car. Fine. Bye bye. Ha. Don't ever get married. I'm making more money than I ever dreamed of, and still she has this living hand to mouth. Where the fuck are you going? Don't go anywhere. Hey, sexy. Oh, shit. Check back? Yeah. Listen, are you by any chance looking for a junior CE? I got this kid outside. So. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with him? <laughs> what? You're trying to pawn him off on me. Oh, he's fine. He's great. He's a smart kid. He went to Yale. I think he's just uh, a little bored driving me around. Yeah, right. Not interested. Not Listen, we gotta talk. That director of yours is a dick. What did you expect? What is that fucking band doing popping up all over his film? No, 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 no. You knew about the band. I wasn't paying attention. I thought you meant a soundtrack. It's fine if you're talking about a broad comedy, but this is a, this is a relationship piece, you know? Band pops up all over the place. It's it's weird. Come on. Come on. Okay. It's it awful. is. It's terrible. It is terrible. Yeah. But it was David's idea. He's sleeping with the bass player. I don't know. Ever since his divorce, it's his mission to fuck every cute boy he sees. That's what this is about, huh? And we're okay with this? Give me a fucking break. I'm married to a sculptor. I got two kids in private school. I got one at Sarah Lawrence and one at Wesley. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, God. Kill me now. Yeah. So what's that running you? 50K a year? More. Each. Look, John Finch is having a party tonight. I want you to come with me. It is my one night out, and I want to have some fun. David's going to be there. All right? He never changes his mind, but we can try him. You won't be sorry. Yeah, I will. Yeah, you Unbelievable, this fucking kid. You ready to go, boss? Oh, hello. What is your problem? What is your fucking problem? I ask you to stay put. How hard is that? It's not brain surgery. I was using the restroom. Just do what I ask you to do, okay? And what's so fucking funny? I, I look out the window, you're cackling on the phone like a little girl. What's so fucking funny? I was talking to my mom. She wanted... Okay, you know what? No more talking on the phone. Give me the phone. No. Give it's... me the goddamn phone. It's not a company phone. You wouldn't even pay the bill. Yeah, well, I want to read the thing before it goes to press. Post it, whatever. <laughs> Journalistic ethics. Come on, Rebecca. It's a goddamn website, for Christ's sakes. What? You do the press for every big star in town. Do I have to beg you to give this guy a beatdown? Just help me out. Okay. Later. Bye. Hey, listen about that thing earlier. I'm sorry. I'm just having a bad day. My back hurts. Oh, it's all right.
Your phone, you use that to make calls for us? All the time. I actually switched to a more expensive plan because of it. You did? Yeah. Well, you talk to accounting. They'll take care of that for you. Thanks. You had a really great time tonight. Me too. Hey, you mind if I stay? Sure. I said, hey. Stay. Look at this guy's, look at his face. Look at his face. It's like the monkeys. <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen some crazy shit in my life, but this tops a bomb. This, this could have went a Razzie. <sighs> Maybe we could make it work. I mean, they, they did it in uh, There's Something About Mary, right, with the music? That was broad comedy. What about Rio Bravo? There was a song in Rio Bravo. It was Dean Martin? Yeah, well, that, that kind of works because, you know, it's cowboy singing at night. You know, plus, you know, it's just one song. I mean, this band pops up five times, you know, apropos of nothing. Five times? Five times. What's the point? I have no idea. Hey, uh, you got to see our new intern. Hey, Sam? Yes. <laughs> this is uh, Glenn Siegel, the producer. Oh, um, hi, it's an honor to meet you. Oh, no, no, it's a pleasure. Pleasure's mine. Chris says you're doing a bang-up job. Oh, thanks. Uh, can I get you guys anything? Do you mind making a coffee run? Not at all. Can I get you anything, Mr. Siegel? It's Glenn, and, uh, yeah, double espresso. Two sugars, please. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, I have her go get coffee 15 times a day just so I can look at her. She's cute. Yeah, she's not gonna be around here long. Yeah. Let me guess, actress? Oh. It's like being in high school again, you know? I check my hair, make, make sure my clothes match in the morning. I don't know what's going on. You check your hair. What the fuck is so funny? Oh, my, hey, listen. What? I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to call them if you show up. It's okay, Chris, it's all right. God, I I can't even look at it. It makes me physically sick to my, my stomach. Yeah, hey, 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 it's, it's all right, it's all right, I got it. All right, it's okay. Come on, let's talk about it. Hey, calm down, calm down, have a seat, all right? Just, Figure this out. Now, we weren't laughing at the film, okay? We weren't. What did Michelle say? Uh, I'm working on Michelle. Hey, has Bill even seen what they've done to the movie? Oh, fuck, Bill. You think Bill gives a rat's ass, huh? He's too busy flying airplanes and, and jamming with Dave Matthews. What if I called him? What if I called him right now and told him what they did with that fucking band? Pick up the phone and call him. You know what he'll tell you? He'll say, get Glenn to do it. Let Glenn take care of it. He'll handle things. That's what I do. Call him. I just wanted to make a good movie. Mike, we all want to make a good movie. It's important to me, too. This is the first film I produced without Bill as the star. All right, I told you I would take care of it, and I will. You gotta trust me. Okay. Hey, uh, girl with the coffee, show up. Ah, oh, she's not back yet. How'd that go? <laughs> All right, fuck it, I gotta go, I'll see you later. Hey, Glenn, you guys find somebody to edit that Bobby Kennedy film yet? Uh, no, no, not yet, but uh, you'll be on the list. Right on. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. good looking. Piss. Right, okay, yeah. Excuse him, Moore. What do you think? Huh? I just sent it over for my approval. Yeah, what's up with the mustache, Bill? It looks a little uh, odd. Really? What do you think, Tucker? McTuckster? You like it? Hell yeah, I like it, man. The mustache looks fine. All right. Come on, sweet. You get to keep one. Frisbee golf. 7 p.m. Yes, sir. Right. Bob golf. Excuse me, one. Excuse me, one. Your wife called, Mike Cabot called. Uh, Michelle Morgan wants to know if you're going to John Finch's. <sighs> Do me a favor, hand me my back thing, will you? I'm sorry I couldn't be here this morning. Um, Dr. DePaolo says that I might have to go on bed rest next week. What the fuck? Why would he say that? I don't know. You're the one that got me the appointment with him. And this is what I get. Now I'm gonna have to hire some stupid idiot to take your place for even longer. Everybody's having a great time. It's all a big goddamn party for the whole fucking world, except me. 
Ugh. That kid Tucker, I can't stand him. How do I get rid of him? You can't now. You know how it is when Bill takes a shine to somebody? Uh, He'll get tired of him. Yeah, if I don't kill him first. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, ah! <sighs> Behold! The yellow jersey has arrived. <laughs> Armstrong gave it to me. Lance, he's got like a million of them, but uh, this one is real because it's a little slightly undersized and uh, it smells like a champion. What's going on? What are you doing? Are you having a little nappy? No. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just uh, sitting here. My back's in a lot of pain. I've been working my ass off all day. Yeah? Yeah. Good. So, what you working on? How's the uh, Ed Norton movie? Uh, it's going great. Uh, Ed looks good. Listen, your, uh, your friend Steve Maselli came by the uh, lot today. He, he wants to play Richard Goodwin in the Bobby Kennedy yeah, no, no, Man, that is no, okay? He's like way too old for that. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to, you know. What's going on with him, um, the band thing? Well, you might have to call David Stein on this one, you know? I mean, it, it just doesn't work. Really? Yeah. yeah. I like that idea, why not? Uh, it's pretty stupid, Bill. And, uh, I mean, you can take a look at it if you want to. I trust your judgment. Besides, man, I got a lot going on right now, so... Oh, yeah, clearly. Yeah, I, I know. And I don't want to call that guy about the band movie, so I want you to do that for me. Please. You got it. Because, man, this producing thing is like, I don't know, it's just like a... It's, a, it's hard, right? I mean, it's almost like politics or something. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a creative dude, you know? And I just want to stay in that. I'll do it if you want me. No, 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 I got it. It's fine, I got it. I got your back. Good. Thanks. Sure. I'm really tired. Um, why, why are you telling Tucker that he's bugging me? Well, I didn't say that. I just said, uh, you know, to be a little bit more respectful of your space. You know, because I know you like that. And, uh, and to, uh, you know, just... Well, he's not bugging me. He's, you know, I think he's a smart kid. And um, I like him. So do I. Good. Yeah. We're going to Napa on Thursday, with Sheila and Lee. Oh, terrific. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think you could ask Bill if we can use the jet? <laughs> Sweetheart. Well, he said we were welcome to it. Bill says a lot of stuff, you know this. And then at the end of the day, it's my job to get him out of it. I'm the asshole. That's what I do for a living. Come on, I told you this a million times before. You know, at the end of the day, I'm like one of Bill's employees. I'm like the, the gardener or the chef or the guy that fucking washes his car. Yeah, well, that's not true. You're friends. You're just paranoid. Fine, I, I just, I, you know, I don't want to make any waves, okay? You have no idea how precarious this is. All right, remember Tom Shannon? Yes. Tom Shannon, right? Used to produce Michael Keaton's movies. Then one day that guy decides, oh, I don't want to be Batman anymore. You know what happened to Tom Shannon? Know where he is now? Nowhere. Exactly my point. Right? He carried Keaton's lunch pail around for about three years. Couldn't get anything going on his own. Now he's gone. Disappeared. Vanished. It's like commercial. It's greener. Go first class. There is no first class. Flight's too short. All right. Use one of my NetJet vouchers. Happy? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I love you, baby. Mm. Where's your driver? Do you suppose he's hungry? Maybe we should invite him in. No, no, no. He's good. He's fine. He ate. Oh, man, I'm starving. I haven't had one thing to eat all day. Yeah, you should keep a power bar or something in the car, you know? We're on the move, kid. This is show business. <laughs> Listen to me. I want you close enough so I can find you far enough away that I don't have to introduce you to anybody. You got me? Dr. Rocks. I am so <laughs> glad you decided to show up. Listen, David's here, but he's not in the best of moods, so I don't think this is the night to engage him. Yeah, well, I didn't come all the way out here to suck his cock, did I? Where is he? <sighs> David Stein. How are you, pal? Hey, bye. Looking well. You uh, lost some weight. Thanks. So, Michelle tells me we may have a little situation? Yeah, we might. Yeah, she'd probably have a little chat about it. Mm. I don't know if there's much to discuss. I mean, 
I saw the new cut. I think it's much improved. Oh, no, I agree. I agree. And I love the band. I think uh, they'd be great in a soundtrack. But, you know, having them actually appear in the film. Well, is... I think it's fantastic. It's edgy. It's innovative. It's funny. Oh, it is funny. The only problem is the movie's not a comedy. What do you say we uh, talk outside? Huh? Sure. Yeah, come on. Michelle? This is all a bit more touching than I think maybe you know. Well, I can imagine. Listen, David, here's how I see it. You're either right about this thing or you're wrong. Let's say you're right. If the band works, they're not the fucking Beatles. They're not gonna change the landscape, you know? The problem is, if you're wrong and the band doesn't work, we all look ridiculous. The movie wins a Razzie, the director takes his name off the picture, everybody starts wondering, what the fuck happened? People are talking. For what? I just don't want us to look silly. That's all. What do you think? Um, I love the band. I always have. That being said, Glenn makes some good points that I hadn't considered. Band's gotta be in the picture. We spent half a million dollars in reshoots. Really? I don't see where. How about this? Fuck. An end sequence. Well, we see the band over the title crawl. Hmm? That way the band gets in there, kids enjoy a song, everybody's happy. Just the very end of the movie. That seems fair. I think it's a great compromise. Thank you, David. Michael will be very pleased. If you'll excuse me, I'm running to the ladies' room. Who's that? I saw him coming earlier. I... Somebody said he was with you? Oh, that, that's my driver. Uh, very smart kid he is. You know, he went to Yale, very artistic. You, you need anybody uh, around the office to help out? Too smart to be driving me around. How much you know about him? I mean, is he... Yeah, he's ambitious. <laughs> he's very ambitious. Don't come by my office first thing tomorrow morning. I'm 15. Well, look who's here. So your publicist told me that I will get no cooperation from any of her clients ever again unless I let you read the piece. Rebecca's a tough nut to crack, isn't she? I didn't even write anything bad at first. And now half the piece is about what a paranoid freak you are. And I'm posting it tomorrow, as is. I don't respond to blackmail or threats. How do you feel about bribery? I'll give you an exclusive interview with Bill Fuller on the uh, Bobby Kennedy set. He doesn't let anybody come to his sets. Really? I'll put it in writing. Okay. I will send you the piece first thing in the morning. But you should know that this goes against everything that I hold sacred about journalism. Yeah. You are a goddamn good producer. Nah. Oh, I mean it. You are amazing. It's a pretty big turn on, actually. <sighs> Michelle, I'm I'm really exhausted. You'll hardly have to do a thing. Where are we gonna go? Follow me. You know, I don't think I had a single conversation today with someone who didn't want something from me, including my wife. Mm, is that so? It's like I'm not even real anymore, you know? I'm just this, this thing who can give people what they want or not. It's fucking depressing. Mm. Well, I want something from you, but I think you're gonna like giving it to me. There we go. What the hell is that? A 
you sure this can be okay, though? Because, hey, you know, I really feel I've gotten real close to Bill. I, uh, I think it'll be better for Bill. He'll have his own guy on the inside. David Stein is the president of the studio. It's a great opportunity for you, pal. I'll talk to Bill. He'll, uh, I think he'll understand. Man, I, I can't thank you enough, Glenn. It's, it's awesome. Well, trust me, the pleasure's all mine. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. So I said, there's no fucking way the band doesn't work. All right? I don't care what the studio wants. We still make movies that honor the director's vision. Huh? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And and he actually wow. can... He caved. He fucking caved. Like a, like a pussy, right? I mean, we still have to slip it in there during the end title crawl, but that won't be a problem, you know? Who would it... What do you mean? You know, at the end of the picture. We'll put the band in as the audience is walking out of the theater. Nobody will ever notice. It's beautiful. Come on, Mike. I mean, uh, they spent over a million dollars on reshoots. Got to put the band in there somewhere. I think it's a pretty good fucking compromise. But that's just it. I mean, that, that's the point. Glenn, is it's a compromise. I, I, I'm an artist. I'm not a compromiser. I'm not a fucking politician, man. I mean, come on. Can you picture it? Look, I, the movie fades to black. The title card comes up. The audience is devastated. They're weeping in their seats, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this Blink-182 band shows up and starts playing. It's so stupid! I know, I know, but uh, just trust me. And by the way, what kind of producer are you? I never would even consider leaving the cinema before the credits were done rolling, would you? Just very... What is your problem, man? I just saved your fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Before it was going to be a disaster, and now it's just lame, so... Thanks, I guess. I gotta take a walk. Yeah, it's, it's nice out. Really? Bill called, your wife called, and Rebecca called. She saw the article that journalist wrote. She said it looked good. Oh. Is your back still hurt? Yeah, it's getting better. So what's wrong then? Nothing. Okay. Hey, Jill. There's this intern over at the editing room, Sam. I need a new driver. Call over and see if she wants the job. You got rid of Tucker? How? Yeah, he quit. Found himself a new job. Bill's pretty pissed. See? Everything works out for you then, just like it always does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm living the dream. You are. I'll go call over to editing. Smile, Glenn. I was mean. 